I've seen Kanye West going around and doing these like church-like um, events. He has an album, either it's coming out or it's already out, called, uh, I, I think it's like Jesus or Jesus Save or so, some, something like that, right? And it got me to thinking, as much as the community has been uh, held down by religion, do you think the as a culture we'll ever be able to pull away from it? No. I do not think we'll be able to pull away from it because as much as people are waking up and seeing how a lot of these pastors and people are charlatans, they use their money, they do messed up things, a lot of them are just horrible people. <clears throat> a lot of them are, but it's that belief that keeps them. It's not, see, like the thing is, like the, um, what's her name? What's her name? Amber Geiger? Whatever her name is. Yeah, yeah. Her, her killing that the, the black guy. Yeah. And his brother hugging her and the judge hugging her. And, and giving her Bayless, a Bible. Ba giving her a Bible. Bailiff is fixing her hair. It's because black people always feel like, oh, God says to another chief to forgive and all that stuff like that, whatever. And that even, it basically shows that even if somebody does something like kill your sibling that you grew up with, that you love, you're willing to forgive and forget when in the opposite uh, token, somebody else will not. And same thing with Kanye, Kanye's just playing on this religion thing. Because again, let's be honest, bro. Kanye West is not, yes, he's done Jesus walks, you know what I'm saying? But he's definitely far from the religious character that he's you know, playing to be now. And he's, you know, pandering to that area because he knows he can make money from it. One. A lot of money. And two, because he's trying to rebuild his image. Remember, he's been through a whole slew of, you know, negative you know, press and publicity with the whole libel suction and him yeah. going crazy and him being with Trump and all that stuff like that. So he's trying to rebuild that black following because a lot of black people said we straight up Kanye by doing this. Yeah, here's, here's, here's the crazy thing. I don't think he, I think he was planning on using the Jesus angle to try to uh, uh, rebuild himself for real. Um, and I saw it when he was doing those little Sunday services and traveling from, you know, uh, city to city doing that. I was like, this man about to try to use religion to make a fortune. Yeah. And the, I don't think the whole album is going to be gospel music or whatever he's saying that it's going to be. Um, because I saw a young thugger tweet out, hey, um, did you remove my verse from the album about the devil? You know what I mean? So you know Fuggle went in on some like devilish type lean sipping, like you know what I'm saying? And, and then Kanye was like, man, I can't let this one be on the album. Now you won't answer this man, you feel me? Now I'm not saying that he, maybe uh, that his verse is really on the album or did he really record it. Maybe he's just tweeting it out for some clout purposes. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But it, it really made me show that, that there's a big manipulation when it comes to the culture. People are always exploiting this one little thing. Yeah. And and they will constantly keep doing it to give themselves the upper hand on yeah. them. And for some reason, I'm like, y'all y'all aren't letting go of this already? And here's, here's one thing that bothers me. Kanye, if you go through the catalog of music and listen to what he's saying on, on his his all his songs, he sounds like a hypocrite. But the reason he sounds like a hypocrite is because he has conscious people who work for him, who write music for him. Definitely. Every time he spits anything about the third eye, pyramid, alien type stuff, or 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 or, or, or I'm a god type, or, or you know what I'm saying, the god within you type stuff, I already know. I'm like, okay, cool. Who is that? With Sahai the Prince? I can tell who's writing your material, yeah, bro. Definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have these conscious people writing your material. Definitely. Then when you want to do your own stuff, it's all about Jesus. So it sounds like a contradicting person when people don't realize that he's not writing none of the conscious stuff. He's like, yo, write me some dope conscious stuff. And then as you as a, somebody who's on the payroll, you're like, yo, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, my third eye sees all, da, 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 da. And then, you know, you hand it over, you send him the reference track, and he makes the beats and produces that, and he says your words. So people start to think, yo, he's real conscious. He's black conscious, you know what I mean? And then, like, a whole community follows that. Only, and then you turn around and go, yeah, gospel music. You should you should be submissive to, to you know what I'm saying, this religion and everybody who runs this religion. How, where, where that came from? You know what I'm saying? Like, my thing with Kanye is, um, not only wrong, I still think some of the greatest music I've ever heard was from Kanye West. His first three albums were amazing. You know what I'm saying? And even after that, you know what I'm saying, he just does songs that sound, you know what I'm saying, amazing. 
But Kanye is a hypocrite one, obviously on the conscious stuff. But he's just he's erratic. He he he's emotional. He's 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 crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like and I don't, don't want to say it like that, but it's the truth. Because like sometimes he'll go from flipping out on this person, and, and I defended Kanye for a long time. But I'm like Kanye, bro. At some point, you gotta get right, bro. Something gotta change because he'll go from mild mood swings, bro. He'll go from oh, you know, these people did me wrong, and ah, oh, they won't, Versace won't put me on. Uh, uh, uh. This and third, and then he'll go to oh, you know, gospel Jesus, and this and third, and he'll go to oh, Jay Z's not my friend. He don't hit me up, and it's like, bro, what is up with you? Talking about, uh, we should build our own, right? I mean, he, I remember he was saying that at one point. Then he went and begged. Uh, every clothing designer to put them on. To put them on. Like, what are you talking about? You don't know how much, how much uh, 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 clothing and factories, and they have an infrastructure. That's why I need them. But you, I, but like, you just said build your own. Yeah. But see, you're telling me, you telling me Kanye can't build a warehouse? Listen, bro. Tyler Perry is now one of the biggest uh, movie studios, studios ever. He built the joint himself. Yep. He didn't need no infrastructure or he didn't have Sony for no money. Or he did himself. Kanye can do it himself. You just don't want to lose the money. But don't that, that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. He doesn't want to touch his own money. Definitely. He wants your he money. He wants you to fund me. Yeah. But here's the thing. Don't ever think that you say like you see how you say that you don't think the album's gonna be all that. I think it will be. No, because I know all the because I didn't say the album's not gonna be good. The, no, album, I, the album's gonna be fire. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be good. I'm talking about you, you. You said earlier that um you think um you don't think it's gonna be all that you know Jesus stuff that he's talking. About. I think you said like uh. What, oh, what, I thought what, I thought originally. Yeah. I don't think it was a, that. I don't think the whole album was originally going in that direction. I think he he somehow or somebody said something to him or he got an idea in his head and then it rolled like that because if if Thugga really had a verse on there, uh I don't know praising the devil. On a gospel album, so that that shows the direction of your album was not really, you know what I'm saying, going that way. I like, you know what I'm saying. I so then you just out of nowhere remove. I uh, start removing these verses, that verses. Let me get another writer in there. Can you write some Jesus stuff for me? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Now you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do. do. He says he's gonna do religious albums for the rest of his career now, right? He says he's gonna do Christian albums. I don't believe that. That's that album either. Because what's, so what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is the same thing that happened with Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper had this big idea to do an album by his way. Called the big day. And I hear so many people hate it. They said it is, it is just him, oh my wife dead, my wife dead. And it's, it's not, it's not like, and that's the thing too, you gotta understand. It's just not good content. And it's not wrong. If you want, if you want to do a, a, a um a album about your wife, nobody has a problem with that. But it gotta sound good, you gotta make it musically good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can make music about whatever, as long as it sounds good. But they said the whole time it did, it just seemed forced, and I think that's what's gonna be about this album too. I think it's gonna sound forced. I think it's gonna be like because Jesus walked. I think he just did because he wanted to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I think this because you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I want to do this. It's gonna. It's not gonna resonate the right way he, he wants it to resonate. Well, here's one thing that he he's uh, he's not calculating into the situation. Um, yeah, people are gonna listen to it because it's Kanye West. Seven. Yeah, people are. It's a lot of. Uh, uh, of, I guess you could say Christian people are gonna go out and listen to some Kanye West. I guess if they weren't listening to Kanye West, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, even though I was asking about the culture itself moving away from religion or tr or separating themselves from it, besides the our culture, other cultures have already moved away from it. Of course, it's been a dwindling thing for a very long time. Yeah. Like. I, all across Europe, they're shutting down churches because nobody's showing up to these things, right? And pe people have gotten hip to the game and they're leaving. It's just our community for some reason, it seems like they're slow to, 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 the, to the party. But you see, here's the thing, there's a lot of people that are, you know, catching up to the, you know, the uptake Lucy in that sense. But the thing is that they're fighting and fighting hard. The religious community is really fighting because they know it's gonna, they're gonna, their bag is gonna be gone. That's yeah. it. That's money, the, money out of their pocket. No, they me, mega churches, no more Bentleys, it's, no exactly, more. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? No more uh, G5 jets and all that stuff. It's, it's so far that, like, I've heard of them making different uh, versions of the Bible to accommodate it. I've mm -hmm. heard them saying, oh, you know, we'll be the first to baptize an alien. I've heard them yeah. say all kinds of things, and they're just trying to hold on as much as they can. And I think Kanye is playing into 
you know, encapsulating black people in this in this mindset because a lot of them are saying, hey man, you guys have been saying certain things and it just hasn't been happening. You know what I'm saying? We yep. pray and we do all this stuff. And, and over 2,000 years, they're waiting for somebody to come back. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, obviously, no, not to catch any expression to anybody who believes in this religion or, or religion in general, but it's just people, a lot of people are straying away from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like a lot of people are straying away from marriage. Yeah, man, but let's stop there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And make sure you check out my boy, Bell Camera TV. Till next time.